Hello everybody and welcome to Power Crew. In today's video we're going to install the QMK keyboard firmware on the AN Pro 2, one of the most popular 60% keyboards. So you might ask, what is QMK? I've never heard of this before. And why would I want to install it? QMK is an open source keyboard firmware. Think of it as an operating system for your keyboard written for free by many people all over the world. QMK boasts extremely powerful and interesting features like layers, mod tap, tap dance, leader key, and many more. The AN Pro 2 comes pre-installed with the Opens Lab firmware, which is great in my opinion, and the PC software is very intuitive. But if you want to explore some more advanced options, follow along. If for some reason you don't like QMK, you can always just easily flash back to the original firmware using Opens Kit. So, before we begin, we'll have to install Rust. To do this, just visit the rustup.rs website, which I have linked in the description below, and download the executable from here. Once it's downloaded, just run it. And then what you want to do is hit 1 to proceed with the installation, the default option. Now, when that is done, it will prompt you to hit any key. And that was it. Now we will also have to install the Windows subsystem for Linux. In my case, I already have it installed over here. So in case you don't have this, just open up the Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu. I advise you download the Ubuntu 18.04 LTS version. So once you have downloaded that, just open it up. And now we'll have to install a few tools that we'll be using, including the compiler. So in order to do that, just copy and paste this command, which I have in the description below, which basically installs the compiler and git. Then hit enter, and enter your password. And once that is done, we're ready to install QMK. So to begin, we have to visit the Open and Pro website, which I have linked in the description below, and visit the How to Install tab. From here, we want to fetch the and Pro 2 tools, which you can get from this link over here. And what we want to do over here is go over to where it says code and download this zip. Save it. And once it's downloaded, just open it up and extract this folder to your downloads. Now open up your downloads folder and here you will find the folder that we extracted earlier. Now what we want to do is open up a command prompt over here and type in cargo build release, like this, and then hit enter. This will build the ANPRO2 tools. Now once this is done, we need to fetch the QMK firmware. To do this, let's head over to the Open ANPRO webpage and copy this command. Then open up the Windows subsystem for Linux and paste it in. What this will basically do is clone the QMK firmware repository into our computer. So once the cloning is done, just hit cd and pro-qmk to enter the directory of the project that we just cloned. Next we need to build the proper version of QMK for our keyboard. There are two versions of the ANPRO 2, the C15 and the C18. To tell which version you have, just turn your keyboard around and check the text inside the circle on the back. If it says Opens Lab, you have a C15 version. If it says ANPRO, you have a C18. So to build, just type in make and ANPRO2 slash C15 if you have the C15 version and C18 if you have the C18 version and then hit enter. Whoops, made a small type over there. You have to type in make and pro2 slash C18 or C15 depending on the version you have. Now this will build the QMK firmware for your keyboard and once it's done we will flash it. Now that it's done building, we have to get the binary file. So to do this, just type in explorer.exe space and a dot and hit enter. This will open up the Windows Explorer to the file that we're currently at. So from here we're looking for a dot bin file. We have over here the anpro2 
underscore C18 default dot bin. If you have the C15 version, it will say C15. So let's just go ahead and copy this and head over to where we extracted the Anpro2 tools. Inside you'll find a folder called target and then a folder called release. And in here is where we built the Anpro2 tools. So we're going to paste this file in here. Next, we need to open up a command prompt to this folder, and now we can flash the QMK firmware. To do this, just type in anpro2 underscore tools and the name of the file that we copied, which is anpro2 underscore c18 in my case underscore default dot bin. So if you have the c15 version, this is the command you'll have to insert. But if you're on the C18 version, like I am, you also have to type in dash P and 8009. Now don't hit enter quite yet, you'll see why in a second. We first need to open up the on-screen keyboard. And there we go. So in order to flash the Anpro 2, we need to insert our keyboard in what is called a DFU mode, which is essentially a recovery mode. So to do this, we first of all have to switch off Bluetooth, if we have it uh, switched on on the back of the keyboard. Then we have to unplug it, and then we have to hold down the escape key while we re-plug it back in. And then after we plug it back in, we wait a couple of seconds while holding the escape key, and then we can release it. So the keyboard is now in what we call a DFU mode, and now we can flash it. So if I go over here and hit enter, it will try to flash my keyboard. As you can see, I got an error over here. It said no device found. It's either because we didn't define this flag, but as you can see, we already have. But sometimes we also need to add this Lucy argument. So let's try again by adding this Lucy argument and hitting enter. As you can see, now QMK is being flashed on my keyboard. Now, once it is done flashing, I can just unplug and plug my keyboard back in. And congratulations, we have officially flashed QMK. And as you can see, my keyboard is typing once again. So as you may have noticed, we now have QMK working on our keyboard, but we have no lighting effects. So to get lighting effects working again, we need to install the Anpro2 Shine firmware. So in order to do that, we just go ahead and open up our Windows subsystem for Linux again. And then from the Open Anpro GitHub page, we just copy this and paste it into our Windows subsystem for Linux and hit enter. This will clone the Anpro2 Shine repository. Now once that's done, just type in cd anpro2-shine and we will enter the Anpro2 Shine directory. From here, what we want to do, if we have the C15 board, we just have to type in make. Now, if we have the C18 model, we also have to type in model equals with C18 and then we hit enter. This will build the Anpro2 Shine firmware, which we will then flash. Now that it's done, we just type in explorer.exe space dot and we hit enter. This will open up Windows Explorer once again and from here we want to head over to where it says build. And from here we want to find the binary file, which is anpro2-shine and we're going to copy this. Head over to where we have Anpro2 tools, open up the target folder and the release folder, and paste this binary file in. So, what we want to do next is open up a command prompt here. I'll do that once more. And now we want to type in anpro2tools-t led and then the name of the binary file that we just copied. So, it's anpro2-shine.bin. And then if we have the C18 version, we also have to type in P8009. And if Lucy worked for you before, you also want to enter it here as well. And then we're once more going to open the on-screen keyboard. Put our keyboard into DFU mode again. So we're going to unplug it, hold down the escape key, plug it back in, hold down the escape key for a couple of seconds and then release it. And now we're going to hit enter, and the Shine firmware will be flashed. So when it's done, we can just unplug our keyboard and plug it back in. 
So as you can see, our keyboard now has LED effects once more, which we can switch by hitting FN2 plus 9, and it will cycle through various effects. And if we want to turn it off, we can just hit FN and 8. And that's it! So for more information or help, you can join the Discord server, which I have linked in the description, and also make sure to check for updates on both the Shine and QMK repositories, as new features are added frequently. So if you want to go back to the original firmware, all you have to do is just put your keyboard back into DFU mode and open up Obens Kit. Obens Kit will recognize the keyboard into DFU mode and will prompt you to flash it back to its own firmware. So. Before wrapping this up, let me give a big thank you to all the people working on the Open AND Pro project. You guys have done some great work porting QMK to the AND Pro 2. That was it for this video, everybody. I hope it helped you install QMK on your AND Pro 2. If you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more awesome content. I will see you in the next video.